following another cold night, we prepared to get ready to, for the day where we would get on the horses. I was a bit nervous. I was not a skilled horseman as my companions were. Uh, here we are outside our Mongolian gear. A bag of Mongolian firewood is next to me. And there's a good pile of it as well as the horses and yaks that we would be using on our journey. Uh, I was still suffering a bit from uh, my Beijing street food and I uh, spent a little bit of time up in that uh, little shed you can see up on the hill. Uh, unfortunately, human doesn't provide the nice warming qualities that yak does. This was uh, the main family gear of the Mongolians that were hosting us this evening. Uh, my understanding was our beds were around $7 per night. Once we got on our horseback, we transferred into the Orkhan Valley. Uh, this is above the top hill where we took our first break on the horse ride. And we would later have lunch down there at the lake below. They called this area Eight Lakes as there were eight lakes uh, from this uh, uh, volcanic activity. So these weren't fed by anything. They were just where the rainwater pooled. And this is where we had lunch. Uh, I remember it was pretty good. And then we got to our next home site. We'd actually have a layover here, so we'd spend two nights at this site. Uh, they had two gears. Uh, Catherine and David got to stay in the, uh, the uh, marriage suite, I guess. They had a little bit of a larger bed. They got a little bit more privacy here than they did at the uh, other sites that we had. So there's, there's my bed, and uh, it was uh, nice and warm. There's sort of an interesting story here. This one was brand new, and it didn't have a layer of ash here in this uh, oven and it turned out that uh, it, the linoleum caught fire. Uh, I had been sleeping pretty heavily. I was still pretty adjusted to the 12 hour time difference. Uh, I woke up, Catherine was asking me how I was and lots of Mongolians were running around putting the fire out. Uh, no one was hurt but it was a little bit of a harrowing experience. Then on to the next day.